Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, hello, my name is Jessica. Subscribe to my channel, and while you're at it, don't forget to turn on that notification bell that way you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. As you can clearly see right here, and by the title of this video, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial showing you guys how to recreate this spider eye look right here. It's very easy and very beginner friendly as well. So if you don't have a costume this Halloween, you could literally do this and throw on literally anything that you want from your closet. Just throw it on. You can wear all black, or you can do something creative with your wardrobe. But honestly, like this on its own is a costume already, so no need to go out and buy anything if you don't want to or if you can't. So without further ado, let's jump into how to recreate this spider eye. Alrighty guys, so I'm starting with my base completely done. I have on foundation, concealer, setting powder, bronzer, blush, and my eyes are primed and ready to go. The first shade I'm using is a neutral brown shade and I'm applying this all over my crease and outer corner as a transitional shade for this eye look. Then I'm mixing two shades together. One is a warm deep orange and the other is a warm rusted red and applying these in my crease using swiping motions slightly below the transitional shade and I'm also blending these shades into the outer corner as well. Next, I'm taking a rich chocolate brown shade and applying it directly onto the lid using a padding motion, then blending it upwards towards the crease using windshield wiper motions. To really bring the drama, I'm taking a black shade and stamping it onto the lid, starting at the lower lash line and then blending it upwards towards the crease. Then with the brush used for the rich chocolate brown shade, I'm blending the two colors together in the crease. For the lash line, I'm taking the exact same shades in the exact same order and buffing them onto the lower lash line one at a time. Here I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and applying the liner in my waterline, then blending the liner onto the lower lashes with a brush. To create the spider eyes, I use a small angle brush and a black eyeshadow. I personally find it's easier to work with eyeshadows as opposed to black liners, so I chose to use this. However, if you're more comfortable using liquid liners, then feel free to use that instead. I'm going to let you guys watch how I do this versus talking you through it since I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. However, if there's one tip that I can give you is don't worry about trying to make the spider legs and the detailing look too perfect. There's actually something about the imperfections in this that make it look cool and interesting. So just be imperfect and have fun with it. Now I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk on a small pointed liner brush for detailing. I'm adding a bit of this in the areas where the spider legs fold and at the ends of the legs for a little bit of dimension. Once all that's done, I'm going in with the Champagne Highlighting Shade and applying it to the inner corners of the eyes for a pop of sparkle and shimmer. Then I'm going to finish off the eyes with a pair of lashes. Feel free to use whatever lashes you'd like. So here's the spider eye all done and I am genuinely so obsessed with this look. I think it's super cool and for my first time I feel like I did pretty damn good. I'm pretty proud of myself. You can of course do a neutral lip if you would like or if you want to add a little bit more drama you can do like a nice dark red, a vampy red, a berry color, really any lip color that you want. And if you even want to you could do both eyes like this but I only did one because I wanted to keep this one a little bit more like you know glam but you can of course do two spider eyes as opposed to one. So anyways I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell that way you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!